Hi everybody, this is Roxy. And this is by request. I'm sorry Iris, it's taken me so long to do this, but I'm going to show how to make the little flowers and rainbow cutouts um, with watercolor. I saw it, I took a watercolor class this summer online and from Mindy Lacefield and she had a guest designer named um, Sylvia and I can't pronounce the last name but anyway so she did this really adorable um, collage using little flowers that you paint and it's really just making little blotches all over. First we'll prep our paint um, this is some pearlescent. I'm gonna use uh, paints. I also have um, metallics that I use a lot, but they are really hard to find. They're by Prima. I also have Prima watercolors, but I thought I'd use the G Jane Davenport because I think they're more easy to find because they're at Michaels and wherever. Plus, they're a little less expensive than, well, not necessarily actually. I've got some of my Primas for really good prices on Amazon but these you can get for about 15 bucks or so with a coupon at Michaels these I found this year at the State Fair and they were only seven dollars which is a steal and it's pearlescent here I got them from Saratoga stamp they had a booth out at our State Fair but here's the information so it's just the pearlescent brand Yasutomo I'm sure you could probably find these on um, Amazon also. <laughs> so, to get started, I'm going to prep my watercolors and then I'll go through the other products I have to make this little collage. Sorry about that noise. So, you just want to kind of spray everything, and I forgot to grab paper towels, so. You want to just get this your paints wet just to get them primed. Cause that'll soften up the paint so you're not dipping a wet brush into dry paint. Okay, then I'm going to grab some paper towels. Okay, I use these Kleenex hand towels. They're a little thicker than a Kleenex are a lot thicker. They're, they're almost like cushy. And I like them better than a paper towel. I think because they hold up way better. You know, like you don't have to keep using different paper towels. <coughs> Excuse me. And, and then when it gets done, it's all colorful. And you could use that like um, for an art piece collage. Or you could cut some flowers out of it so that's um, just a little tab and I bought these this I bought at a thrift store I found a box that wasn't opened otherwise they're a little expensive but they always have coupons alright then for paper <coughs> I'll have to excuse me my allergies are horrid right now I found this at Walmart I think it was about eight or nine dollars and it's really nice um, watercolor paper. I've only got a couple sheets left. So here is the Canson watercolor. It's 140 pound which is about what you want. You can get the lesser weight but 140 pound is um, really good for soaking up the paint and not getting all warped. So we got that. For paint brushes, you can use. I'm gonna remove my coffee cup. I'll be dipping my brush into that. You can use um, the most inexpensive paintbrush you can find. Nothing to. I mean, it's gonna work. But I just happen to have Prima's water brushes. I really like them. They come in three different. These are from Amazon. I don't use the water in them necessarily. But these are about, you know, they're really good, 
quality and they're nice shapes and sizes. I'll probably use that one, that one, and this is my favorite. This is an expensive brush, Dynasty 305, and this I think was 10 bucks. And I think the Prima were 19, if I remember right. Which is not cheap, but, you know, so. <clears throat> then you'll also need a pencil, just any old pencil. And for the decoration at the end, you'll need some either stickles or glitter and glue. So what you do is just start right in. There's my brush. We'll make some clouds, like Sylvia showed us. And you don't get the uh, water, the paint, the paper wet. This is so fun. I wanna, I'm gonna do like um, autumn leaves. You can do some Christmas holly and little icons from Christmas. You can do anything. And just add to a card or a embellishment cluster. You can do a lot with these, it's fun. You can even just clip it to a package, like a big piece of candy cane or... Another little roll. It's so... It's really unforgiving because it's so whimsical and cute. Just like a fun little... Sylvia also showed us how to make a fairy with it, so... And then add that in the little scene. Then we're going to make some houses. Maybe a greenhouse. House is just that. That's why it helps to have this kind of square, squared off brush. Maybe a Christmas house. And then when you come back with your pencil, that's when you're going to be doing more details. Oops. That guy's bleeding. Which is fine. dry a little bit.
you kind of just think of the shape like I'm thinking this is going to be a leaf think of just the shape in your mind you know because like I said when you come back with your pencil is when you're really going to define those shapes So you're probably going to end up just using this brush. That being the kicker. The little oak leaves. Ours started turning two weeks ago. And I mean like blaze red gorgeous but it was kind of hard to swallow because it's awfully early for our, even up here Okay, then we'll do some flowers. I do tend to stick with similar colors, or you know. I mean, really just can play. It's really all what it is about. That's really all that it is about. I can't even talk today. Kind of mindless. It's a little extra something. <clears throat>
This would be a pretty color for some leaves too. Even just these little shapes are cute flowers. <clears throat> And, um, you can fill your page. If you can cut around it, you're fine. Maybe some pumpkins. <clears throat> some pretty flowers pretty pink flowers and then we'll do some stamen and stuff like that Fill in all these little holes. And the stamen doesn't necessarily go in the flower. That's what will come back when it's dry. If you want to do um, stamen in the flower, we'll do that when it's dry. Do some bigger pumpkins. That green. Do little hearts. Never tell what color these dark ones are. Black. Oh, 
here's the purple. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then um, don't wash this part out. Let it dry because you can. It's still good paint. I'm sure you might know that already. I was cleaning them off because I'm kind of a neat neck. And then I thought, dum dum, you're wasting paint. So see this little brush, you can do a lot with it. So if you, I think you, I think they sell these singly too. So I mean, if that's the only one you need or want, you can actually do a ton of fun work with it. I'm gonna see. See these are a little still. You can tell they're a little wet when the paper is just a little bit. Okay, so my camera stopped when I was making my chrysanthemums. Um, and then I just decided to make some marigolds. So that's what they're about the same as the chrysanthemums. <laughs> just making little kind of little blobs with your paintbrush. I thought when I saw it stopped, I thought, oh my gosh, if I didn't get all this, I'm going to scream. And holler out my front door. There. And you know, wherever you can cut around again, if you can cut around all this, you're fine. So just fill in all these spots. I see a couple over here. I'll do some darker. So I think I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. Okay, I my camera keeps cutting off. So I'm using the metallic paints to do the centers of my flowers. And you can just play with the colors. And you can even add some colors to the clouds, just for something fun. Just a little whatever.
arm and all the other stuff. Oh, these are, I forgot, these are leaves. And then we're going to have to let this dry also. But these are really nice. Um, these are as good as the Prima that I have. And they're only... I don't know if that was a fair special. I don't think so. But again, it was Saratoga Stamps. I'm not sure if they have online bordering. But you certainly can check it out. And then just make sure you clean your brush good before, um, so you don't transfer colors. We're still going to put um, stickles on this too, so keep that in mind. We're just adding a little bit of highlights on the pumpkins here. I can't remember what that was. Are those leaves? Probably, huh? Or no, these are chrysanthemums. These were, I think I lost this footage. Marigolds. Yeah, these are marigolds. The chrysanthemums are somewhere. Maybe these are, I don't know. <laughs> They're flowers, some kind of flower. Right? And careful with this dark color, it's transferring, so just be careful of your colors. Not too much of a pink. Where do I see something? There.
this copper. These colors are really pretty. And even though they don't really show up, probably maybe on the camera or to your eye even, they will when things are moved because the, the light will catch it. And put green stems on some the little flowers. <clears throat> These I can make into flowers too. Alright, so, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I'm going to put little stems on the pumpkins. All right. Oh, we gotta do uh, windows. Sorry, keep saying all right, and then I forget. Or see something, I forget. Now, <clears throat> this is kind of a dark. I the Prima has a black metallic, so we'll see if this works. That's yeah, okay. little house faces.
and I'm really done. I'm going to let this dry and I'll be back. All right, now everything's nice and dry, so we're just going to go in and kind of outline, <clears throat> excuse me, everything. It doesn't have to be perfect. You don't even want it perfect. Just add some little doodad squiggles. You can add texture by just doing some cross hatches like that. Like for kind of shingly look. I made these into cactus, kind of with pots. like a dogwood flower but in a greenish blue instead of pink.
And you don't have to have these fancier paints. Or, you know, a little more expensive paints, I guess. Um, any paints that'll do this. I think I had them all. So, you can stickleize them. Now for this, I think I'm just going to do like a bronze, <coughs> um, maybe kind of goldy color. It says mercury glass. You don't have to do this to every single one. Especially these leaves.
See, I better stay on one side, because otherwise I'm going to get it all over the place. For sure the flower. Hand. See? Then we put this somewhere where we would never go near it because I always stick my hand in stuff. Oh, I didn't do the clouds. I kind of want to do something up there. You're good. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so here's my beautiful, it looks so pretty when it's all glittered up. So I'm gonna cut some of these out and make a card. And my camera thought it was off all day, but it wasn't. So I might not have much battery left is always the case. And you can cut these out with or without a white border. And you're just going to like not worry too much about being exactly perfect. And this is the kind of thing where you um, take it right to your favorite T 
TV watching chair and cut her all out. So I'm just going to make a little floral thing for my card. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out and I'll be back. Alright, so I'm going to use one of my stamps that I found oops, at a garage sale this year. And I've got ink everywhere. Okay, I, um, I they were all on wooden blocks. I've unmounted all of them and mounted them on foam block. So this is a tricky curved. So I got an eyeball. Ugh. Close to perfect. Alright, then all my little flowers, I'll put some clouds up in the sky. Maybe I'll cut out a house or two. Maybe just one house. I'm going to hurry because my camera's, uh, he thought he was off all day, but he's been on all day. Somebody forgot to turn him off. Make that. Oh, a little hot air balloon. I just thought of that. Okay, good. Cute. It looks like a little hot air balloon. So these, I mean, you can put these on anything. They're so cute. Little flowers. And, and you see how easy it is. You can do it for every season, anything. You can do dogs, you can do little animals, which is a dog. Let me see. Maybe I'll do that and cut them off. So I love this. It's so much fun. See, he's not supposed to be on the internet. Okay, so I've got him plugged in. And he was not supposed to be on the internet. That's why my battery's drained down. Because somebody forgot to turn him off. So now, okay, so I've got all my little doodads. And I'm just going to cut off the extra. Don't throw that away. You could always use that somewhere. I'm actually not going to keep that. If it was bigger, I would keep it, but... 
could. If it wasn't the same color. It actually could. Maybe I will. What the heck? Okay. I'm gonna and I did bloop some glue out there. I literally took my life in my hands and used my wipey dipe and got a little bit of a of it off. So it's not too bad. See right there. Now I'm gonna use my Micron Zig Micron. Nope, I'm lying, Sakura. You know? Yeah, I think I will. I was maybe I wonder if I should use a pencil. I will be honest, okay this I had to take I had to stamp this thing about four times. Because it was crooked. So I wonder if I want to do this pencil. Or if I want to do it. Let's see now here's another one. No, here, look at Oh crap. There's one. And then I tried here and it was crooked. So then I thought, okay, I gotta you know, I gotta first have to mount it and get it. It was just a nightmare. I was almost going to throw the stamp away. So do I want that? I think the um, pencil would be cute, but I think to draw Otherwise, you're going to miss that if I don't, I think. Don't use a micron, that is. See, he's not supposed to, I keep turning it off. I wonder why he's doing that. He's not supposed to be on the internet. My camera, I'm talking about my camera. Not some mystery guy. All right. There's that. What's that? There. So. There's my little card. It's kind of cute. I'm going to put a link down below. I did, I made a um, TN, Traveler's Notebook for Elise, Lisey Roy, or Lisey 46. She and I swapped Traveler's Notebooks. And I did include some of these in her um, journal, so you might want to look at that. Plus, I'm going to put her link down, too, because she is so incredible. You want to, you probably want to, um, Check her out too. And I will also put Sylvia's name down below because I cannot even pronounce it. I would murder it. So um, I hope you guys give this a try. It is so much fun. And I can't wait to do more fall. And I certainly can't wait to do Christmas. So um, thanks for watching. And be sure to check out my giveaway. I am um, doing a big giveaway for all my subscribers and appreciation. 10,000. I think it's, I think I said 487 last in my video, but I think it's 478. Anyways, I never expected to get this big. Or, you know, I mean, I know it's big. It's not big. There's people with millions and hundreds of thousands. But little old me, I can't believe it. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Bye. Alright, so I grabbed this. I've got my little flowers cut out. Grab the stamp that I've been dismounting my wooden stamps again. Especially all those that I bought all summer. And this is one that I found this summer at a garage sale. So I thought I'd use it. It's kind of cute. I'm just going to eyeball it. So hopefully... Ah, crap. I'm going to go get another thing. Okay, so I've got a stamp. I've been 
dismounting all the wooden stamps I bought this summer. And this was one of them. Oh, I need a um, cushion. I don't use my mouse pad. I'll do it on Scrubby's face. And Galloway, look at our little king. Oh, I miss him as much as I love Sheila. All right, so we're going to eyeball this one. Ooh, that's crooked. Okay, so this is one of the new stamps I got this summer. I spent the last day and a half unmounting all those wooden stamps onto foam. So we're going to use Scrubby and Gallo's face as a cushion. Alright, so I got to eyeball this and it's Well, is the damn stamp crooked? It is. Okay, I'm going to use one of my stamps that I found this summer. I unmounted all of them off their wood blocks. So, let's try this. Hopefully, it's going to be straight. I should just use my Misty offer. Oh, 